you guys this is a complete cancerian love and relationship reading meaning if you are if you are a cancer dealing with a cancer then these messages just might be for you so let's see what energy we have uh, welcome to cancerian chronicles um the first card that we have here is happy happy and message in a bottle is right here at the bottom i'm hearing um you make me so i don't know what that song is um i'm assuming it's something about someone being made happy at the top we have the fates so for some of you guys if you um are dealing with a cancer or thinking about a cancer um i don't know you're about to meet another cancer this is it it feels like this is a relationship that is somehow um, guided um, it could be someone that you met in the past and things didn't really quite work out um, maybe you guys weren't actually available at that time but I'm getting the sense of like now at this moment in time both of you are actually free I'm here I'm hearing you're free to move about the cabin so um, you guys both could have been in a relationship had a connection and but didn't pursue it um, because you both felt like that just wasn't the right thing to do um, of course so I'm getting the sense of people that just moved on lived their lives the way that they were supposed to live them and kind of let the chips fall where they may so I'm getting the sense of like you guys lived your lives like not that you forgot about one another but just um you you know didn't make your decisions based off of you know that interaction that you had right I'm getting the sense of like two people that went their separate ways um but gave it their all um in their perspective perspective relationships that they were both in at that time um it says i cannot be vulnerable with you i rather hide in the darkness before i let you see inside me um so i'm getting the sense of like um you guys were not whoever you are uh you or your person um just i'm getting the sense of like you guys didn't didn't want to even get into like an emotional i'm hearing emotional affair right so you guys didn't it's kind of like you i'm hearing lovers and friends like you guys knew um or had a fear that if you tried to be friends it just wasn't going to work um and you probably would have found yourselves in um at the very least some type of emotional aff affair and you didn't feel like it would be fair to um your partner or they felt like it wouldn't be fair to theirs um, i'm getting the sense of like things that were just kind of cut off cut clean um i'm hearing ain't no going back like you guys didn't go back and forth um and just moved on i mean that's just what i'm getting with that it says my pride and ego got hurt so i wanted revenge i wanted you to hurt too so with this one i'm getting the sense of okay so i was kind of having i know it's weird but i was having like a little um argument discussion debate whatever um but it's kind of like I'm thinking like this doesn't even make sense like this doesn't even match and I'm being told yes it does okay so here we go with my pride and ego got hurt so I wanted revenge I wanted you to hurt too I'm really getting the sense of like either you had a, a partner or this other person had a partner as well or it could have been both of you and I'm getting the sense of like um, though that partner someone's partner knew about um, that that other person right even though nothing happened, even though nothing developed out of it, even though there was nothing improper about the situation, um, I, I feel like that that actual partner, spouse, uh, life partner, something like that, I mean, that person felt this connection and I'm getting the sense of like, um, I'm hearing dead end. I'm getting the sense of like this person knew that the relationship was already kind of like dead, um, but... And, and they were actually ready to walk off or walk away from the relationship. But as soon as they kind of caught just like an inkling or a, a glimpse, um, uh, uh, had a suspicion that there was a possibility of um, either you or this other person being happy with someone else, um, they decided to nip it in the bud. They weren't going anywhere. They were going to stick around. Um, and I'm hearing as both as long as we both shall live. So someone must have been married or both of you were married. Um, so 
I'm getting the sense of like people that were about to divorce and uh, someone decided that they weren't going to end. Like I'm hearing if I'm not happy, no one's happy, basically. So that's kind of what I'm getting from that. So let's keep going. Okay, Cancer, if you are dealing with a Cancer, it says, I don't understand what you see in me. I don't feel attractive. I don't know what you see in me. I don't feel attractive. And it says, my mask keeps me safe. I need to fake my feelings. So um, one of the things that I'm, another thing that I'm getting is that this person um, also knew that a relationship was on the rocks, right? Um, just like their partner knew it. And I'm getting the sense of like, I'm hearing about giving into temptation. This person went ahead and went along with salvaging or keeping the relationship for the simple fact that they really like, I don't know if like you're super beautiful, super attractive, super intelligent, whatever. Um, this person has kind of like low self-esteem. And so they really didn't understand or they didn't believe that someone like you would truly be interested in someone like them. Um, and I'm hearing without there being an ulterior motive. I'm kind of getting the sense of like someone being told that like this person just wants you for your fill in the blank. What I'm hearing is money. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go with that. Um, but that was another reason that the person decided like not to even pursue what uh, was going on. This person was uh, and again, um, yeah, this person was not going to share um, how they were feeling. It says, I've lost all control of my life. I keep messing up. And with this one, this person feels like that they made the wrong decision um, by staying in the relationship. And I'm kind of getting the sense of like something going downhill from there. Um, I don't know if this is you or if this is, um, you know, the other person. Um, I, I'm typically one, like, I don't care, um, about what another person is doing. So like that's on them. You don't have any control over that. It's really none of our business. Um, at the bottom, it says, I was afraid that you would reject me if I shared my feelings to you. So I'm getting, I'm hearing, um, left unsaid or words left unsaid, right? So I'm getting the sense of like, neither one of you really shared like how you felt, um, about the other person, um, like, like you guys didn't actually verbalize that, but I am getting the sense of like, there was some type of connection. Um, I'm feeling some um, action in the heart chakra, but um, there was some, like you guys knew that, th that there was a connection, um, but there, I'm just getting the sense of like, it just was not spoken out loud. Um, and for good reason, um, I'm hearing, didn't we almost have it all? So, um, someone feels like they really could have it all, um, with you is what I'm getting. I'm hearing something about coming to collect. So I don't know if, uh, a person is coming back, um, to see it through, to see the relationship through, to see if you guys can come together, um, And I'm hearing, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. I'm getting the sense of like the time that you guys did spend talking, communicating with one another, um, that this was, I, I don't know, like this was something that really brightened up this person's day um, or, you know, vice versa. It could have brightened up your day. So, you know what? it is what it is. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I hope that these messages were helpful. Be sure to like, um, comment, share, follow all that good stuff. I love you so, so much and have a beautiful day. Bye.